Good morning, everyone. This is Anne Marie. Today is April the 19th. Quickly looking at SPY. We've got a one hour chart here. Normally we're looking at the four hour, but I like the one hour close up action. It gives us some very definitive things for us to look at. This is the bullish butterfly event, uh, which implies that either down here at the 150 mark or around here at the 151 mark, or perhaps even here, we've got. Uh, a likelihood of a bounce formation and if that does bounce the leg the CD leg wherever it happens to end is going to give us at least a 61.8 retracement event possibly 50 really that's kind of um, soft depending on what what it is that the market does do I think it's gonna lose this level you know I don't but um, if it does we'll address it step back a little bit bigger see if we can find uh, another harmonic that takes care of the space. Here's what I want you to focus on. Pivot points. If you don't use Woody's pivots, you're doing yourself a great disservice. Pivots help extremely well with targets. Why? They're simple. Everybody uses them and so they're self-fulfilling. Which is why Fibonacci's work. Which is why harmonics work. Which is why moving averages work. Which is why ergodic oscillators work. And so on and so forth. What we are looking for is the trade that everybody's trading systems are always saying, hey, let's buy. And of course, I don't mean everybody because there's always got to be somebody on the other side of that trade. But for those of us mechanically inclined, we're going to look to weight the scale, right? We want to put some more weight on our side of the trade than on the other side of the trade, which causes the momentum movement up and acceleration or drop down and acceleration downward into targets. So here's what we're looking at. Pre-market here, we've got uh, charts moving uh, 154.80-ish, 154 154.90-ish. Ish. That's somewhere around here. And so this is what we're looking at, this congestion region. If we could hold this area, the 155 region, what we, would have, what we would have done is breach up over this, and then that gives us a really good chance looking at the pivot. We can see that the VWAPs are a little bit grinding lower, but they are really close to flat. There's no real steep event here. And when there's not a steep slope event, it really does tell us that we've got drifting momentum and it's very likely that we bounce up into this pivot, into this VWAP, into this VWAP. That's very, very likely. Notice where resistance level two is sitting right at the top of this reversal candlestick. Okay, sitting right up there. Is there a likelihood that we do that? I'm not really sure because we do have a gap event here. This area, very, very important. Look at all the gaps we have, one, two, one, two. Now, except for the major gap that we had way back when that, have ca that caused this acceleration, you know, SPY normally doesn't leave gaps open for that long, right? It really, really doesn't. So we might be going to close that gap before coming back up and closing these gaps up here. How does that make us determine what it is that we're going to trade? One, you shouldn't be trading anything on a long-term swing or even an intermediate swing because the market does not seem to be delivering to us the directional momentum that it has, which means it could just as easily move up as move down. Uh, where's the edge there? You've got to play when you have an edge, and when you don't have an edge, you're going to let somebody else take the knife wounds, okay? It's as simple as that. If you want to keep money in your account, stay away from the knife wounds. The way you stay away from the knife wounds, wounds is that you don't take high prob you don't take low probability trades and you wait for those high probability trades. Seriously, I have not had that much coffee. I promise. I really have not. So, what we want to look for ultimately to guide us is am I holding support level 2? All right. If I hold support level 2, I want to look for the bounce back. That means if I've been short and it comes in here and it starts giving me this action, like the post that I tweeted yesterday about SPY getting ready to bounce off of this event, then um, we know that, hey, my stops and my shorts, I ought to start pulling those back, taking some profit off. Don't leave yourself exposed. If you come up here, if you're a real short-term trader and you're doing intraday trades and you come up here and you start losing the level again, 
you know you've got lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Guess what? That's telegraphing a lower low. You're able to open up another short. Same thing on the upside, all right? Except you need a confirming candle when you move in the upside direction because you are reversing direction from this end, and you always need confirmation to do that. All right, good luck trading today. Keep alert.